With the advent of robotic surgery, things changed a lot with regard to laparoscopy and they've continued to change as more and more instruments are developed for the robotic arms. We've gotten newer techniques, newer meshes have been developed that are specifically to be used laparoscopically uh, and expressly robotically. Looking at some of the limitations that we know with robotic surgery, it wasn't a, an absolute clear changeover from regular laparoscopy to robotics. And the longer time goes on, the, the more we've refined the techniques with the robot. The main advantage though still is the 4K high definition, 3D view that we have of the surgery when we do it robotically and the fact that the instruments more closely mimic the human hand. We have a wrist inside. That was an enormous advancement from traditional laparoscopic instruments. It depends on what front you're talking about uh, as far as the advancements that apply. For, for instance, hernia repairs, uh, mesh has gotten uh, some bad press and still is, is the mainstay of hernia repairs. They should be done with mesh. And, and, but now the meshes are getting uh, partially resorbable. A lot of the meshes we use within three or four months are gone, but they're present long enough to allow the hernia to heal properly. The instrumentation that we've used for many, many years with both open and laparoscopic surgery, it seems every, every few months something else is developed that the robotic instruments have a special fit onto the machine. So we can't take a traditional instrument that we may have used for 20 years and suddenly use it in a robotic case. So some of these instruments are being developed so that they function and are integrated with the robotic surgery seamlessly.